we have success, all right? So, but I'm gonna spoil it just a little bit. We're gonna play two songs for you. We're gonna play Yankee Doodle, and then we're gonna play Nothing But The Blood. All right, tremendously inspirational. We love it. We love it. Let's give him another great hand. How about that, huh? I will say this it takes a lot of time and effort to develop those skills and an instrument. And I was talking to a parent the other day. Uh, a lot of people aren't willing to do that. So I'm very excited about all these third graders willing to at least try. And those of you in first grade, second grade, and even younger than that, you'll have that same opportunity here in a year or two and want you to, uh, to jump in on that and just see um, how you can develop in those skills. And even those of you that are even a little bit older who may not have jumped into band yet, it's not too early. You can always jump in and uh, start to develop those skills as well. The older you get, actually, the faster you can pick up on those instruments. You just have better motor skills and all of that and better understanding. So uh, don't be afraid to jump in and do that. All right, our next group is Middle School Handbell Choir. Go ahead and find your uh, director over here, and he will guide you to where you are. And parents, let me say, as the guy who normally is responsible uh, for organizing the program, listen up, please. Shh. Hey, we'll clap for the students after they perform. How about that? That would be the better way to do it. Okay. As the guy who's responsible to make sure that the programs run smoothly, uh, you know, obviously for me it's like, oh, we could have done this, could have done that, but we want this to be lighthearted and relaxed. And so we want you to be relaxed, but we want you to see uh, just how far these students have come. And really, you'll see a progression this morning as well. So the Middle School Handball Choir is going to come on up and play for us. I believe each of our directors may say a little word to introduce the, uh, the particular song that they're going to play. Um, but uh, more than anything, we want you to see how these students have progressed throughout the year. You heard them play for Christmas program. You may have been here for their competition performances. 
Um, but you'll see just one more time in a more lighthearted way how these students are doing. So Mr. Lyles will direct this group and then we'll continue. Elementary band will be the next ones to play. So students, you can be uh, preparing in your minds right now. All right, we're gonna get set up here and hopefully very quickly. I forgot their gloves, so don't touch the bells. Um, but uh, we, we need some mallets here. We'll get this going. But we, uh, we've really enjoyed playing this year, uh, middle school handbells. And we decided that for this, this program, we were going to play one of the most difficult songs that has ever been written. Um, it is a, it's a very difficult piano piece and made even more difficult by transcribing it for handbells. Um, and I say it's, it's one of the most difficult, but it is also one of the most recognizable. And, uh, and yet, and, and many, many people have actually attempted to play it, some successfully, uh, some not so successfully. Are we ready? I'm stalling. Is this enough time? Okay. Now, uh, without further ado, one of the most difficult songs. Um, Ah the, f ah, the false ending, the false ending. Gotta love that. He got you on that one, that's for sure. All right, great job, students. How many of you, I wonder, how many of you have ever sat down at a piano and tried to play chopsticks? Come on now, be honest. Are you serious? Not enough of you. That's surprising. All right, chopsticks. I've done it once or twice myself. All right, elementary band, you are next. And uh, they're gonna hustle and get those instruments Okay, I have another question. That was chopsticks, but then there's the other one, the heart and soul. Dun, 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 
da 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 You know that one? How many of you have ever tried to play that one? All right, there we go. There, there we go. You can always tell somebody who's not an actual pianist when they play the first three notes with these three fingers rather than these three fingers. You can always tell somebody that's not really a pianist when they do that. So anyway, those of you that play the piano, you understand what I mean by that. But uh, all right, our elementary band. Now, here's, here's our goal with our bands. We want to see the progression of very beginning, then elementary, where they've been playing maybe for a year or two, and then middle school, where they've had three or four years under their belt, and then the high school students who have uh, just continued to progress and gotten a whole lot better, more enjoyable uh, opportunities to play and all of that. But of course, those students, they have to get their instruments and all of that. How many of you in this room, uh, your child is playing an instrument right now, parents? How many of you, your child is playing this? Alex Pence, put your hand down. What in the world? <laughs> so, seventh grader thank you for coming and and i ask you that specifically my hand is up too because mine is both two of mine are i ask you that specifically because you have to endure the first sounds coming out of those instruments probably the worst is the violins okay i'm sorry but if you hear a beginning violinist then you need earplugs and all of that good stuff but uh some of you know what i'm talking about with that but most of these instruments aren't quite as bad, and uh, we just enjoy hearing them. So I'm going to hand this over to Mr. Lyles as he continues getting them ready. All right. This is elementary band, fourth and fifth grade. Come on, guys. Come in and find your seat. Um, just do things quick, quickly but carefully. Aiden, you're actually over here, okay? Come all the way over. All right. We're going to play a fun song for you. Oh, right here. And uh, it's going to feature a couple, of, it's going to feature one of our sections in our band. And uh, as you can see, the uh, trio is making their way into their special position. And uh, one of the things, the, let, me, let me first introduce our song. Our song is called Attack of the Slide Trombones. And, uh, and so what's going to happen in this song is you're going to hear something that only the trombone can really do in the band. And, uh, and it's called a glissando. Okay, this is school, so let's do education here. Everybody say glissando. There you go, that's your Italian word for the day, good. Uh, Caleb, would you demonstrate a glissando for us? All right, so we're gonna hear some glissandos today. And do we have everybody? Good, we're gonna warm up just real quick and then we'll play Attack of the Slide Trombone.
All right, who wants to play the trombone now? Absolutely. You can do cool stuff on these instruments, right? It's awesome. All right, next group today. Next group today is our Senior High Handbell Choir. And once in a while, once in a while, we all make mistakes. I just realized I don't have my music right here, so you know, it just is what it is. But they, they know what they're supposed to do, so here we go. <laughs> we'll see how well they, they have it memorized. Are you ready? All right, here we go.
All right, our middle school band needs to be getting ready. I don't know if they've already headed that way, but you guys head that way. Middle school band. I know Mr. Lyles has something exciting planned for that. All right. We, uh, you will be doing choir, yes you will. We're looking forward to that. Middle school band first, and then actually the uh, elementary choir will be right after that. You guys stay right here, and Miss, Miss Harris will uh, get you guys going right there. Middle school band's getting their instruments. How many of you now that we've done something fun like that would like to play handbells? Anybody want to play handbells? All right, good. Just so you know, just so you know, shh, just so you know, elementary students, when you get to third grade, Mrs. King, yes, you are, Mrs. King uh, starts a, an elementary handbell choir at the beginning of each year, so you can try out for that handbell choir. Well, what you need to start doing is learning how to read rhythm. That's the biggest thing. And learn how to listen to a teacher and obey because it's a group thing, okay? Everybody has to be doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing for it all to work, work together. You think that was just a bunch of ridiculousness, everybody doing weird things. We actually did have to practice that, so, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun, but they know how to play the handbells. That's the easy part for them. All the other stuff was the stuff we had to practice more than anything. So once you get to third grade, third, fourth, and fifth grade is elementary handbell choir. Then we move up to middle school in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. And then, of course, the um, high school handbell choir. We, uh, we actually, and I was going to tell you about this later, but I'll tell you right now, that group right there got second place this year at national competition. National competition. That was pretty exciting. We were, we were disappointed not to be able to take the trip, but we recorded, just like many of you did in other areas. We made the recording, sent it in got the results and uh, we were very excited about that. So we've done that in the past. We've never won first. That's our, that's our next goal is to finally get first place at national competition at some point. But uh, they did a good job. Where is everybody? Still getting instruments? Man, the elementary kids were a lot faster. Good job, elementary band. You got your instruments and got out there. Yes. Yes. Apparently the middle schoolers don't know how to get their instruments together like you do. I'm just kidding, I don't have any idea what they're doing. There they are! Oh, it's because Luke had that big tuba in the way, that's why. I love it. Mr. Lyles, I'm gonna hand it off to you. Thank you. All right, as our middle school band is making its way out to stage, we've got a fun song for you. All right. We're gonna play uh, a fun song for you here, a kind of uh, creepy song. Okay. And for one of our sound effects, we're gonna go ahead and spoil this for you now, but one of our sound effects comes from our trumpet section. They're gonna play on just their mouthpieces. This is what it sounds like. All right. So you listen for that as we play uh, this song together. We're gonna warm up first though.
All right, elementary choir, head on up there. Elementary choir. This will take just a moment. They're gonna move quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly. Herding cats. It's fun to herd cats. All right, let's do this. How about if we have our concert band? Why don't you go get your instruments ready right now? Okay. Uh, there'll be plenty of time uh, as they come off for you to come on and get ready. The concert band, go ahead and get your instruments ready right now. We'll be in the, uh, in the wings. And we'll get the elementary choir up here momentarily. All right, good. They are almost in place. If I could have your attention right up here. Third, fourth, and fifth graders are our elementary choir. And uh, they meet a couple times a week just for a little while. And they sing for different programs. But they wanted to get something ready for this particular program at the end of the year. Uh, children love to sing, don't they? You guys love to sing? Absolutely. We have chapel services, and the kids love to sing in those, especially when the teachers do some of those fun songs and things. But along the way, obviously, we are teaching uh, biblical truth, uh, whether it's in the form of a, a, uh, a fact. We call them Bible stories, but things that happened uh, biblically. And, of course, uh, we teach a lot of that stuff throughout the day. Uh, in our Bible classes and throughout the classes that we teach. But these students are going to sing you a song that uh, has a little bit of that biblical truth in it, uh, but it's enjoyable as well. Ms. Harris?
Good job. Thank you, third, fourth, and fifth graders. Let's give them a good hand one more time. A lot of words in that song. A lot of words. One more group this morning, and uh, then we'll have just a couple of things to say there at the end of the program here. And uh, thanks for your patience through the movements and things. But the concert band will come, and they will play this morning. And uh, I think you'll enjoy that as well. This reminds me of a song. I learned a song called, All I Get Is Tacos For Breakfast, huh? Yes. The sombreros. Can anyone say sombrero? No, not sombrero. That's lame. Say it, sombrero. Yes, all I get is tacos for breakfast. All I get is tacos for lunch. All I get is tacos for dinner. They're greasy and they're soggy and they don't have any crunch. I wish I had a dish of macaroni. A hot dog and some chips would hit the spot. But all I get is tacos, 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 tacos. I'm trying to be thankful, but I'm not. That's my favorite, favorite taco song. Lovely. All right. My favorite is sing Bailey in a sombrero. Everyone say Bailey. I like your sombrero. Yes. Bailey loves attention. This is the. Oh, you got me up there. All right, thank you. This is uh, this is the concert band, and uh, we're excited to play for you today as well. And today we are playing. Uh, the first song we're going to play is called Plaza de Toros, which literally means uh, a bullfight. Okay, so the composer has has written this music to portray what a bullfight might sound like. And you know some composers can write things so well that our imagination begins to sort of run wild and, and we can almost feel like we're actually at a bullfight. So listen as the concert band plays this piece and, and, and see if your imagination just comes to life. Thank you. 
All right. See, music is fun. It's a lot of fun. And we, as a concert band, have found a new song to add to the pep band rotation. All right. We've enjoyed hearing some good pieces today. We've laughed. We've cried. No. Um, you guys have been a great audience today. I do want to... I'm going to do a couple things here as our last song. Okay? And so we're going to kind of settle it in here just a little bit. Um, first of all, in this last song, I wanted to do a song where we could feature a student. Uh, this year, one of our seniors graduating, uh, Mr. Joshua Stanzak at the piano. Oh would like to remind you that he won first place uh, for classical piano in a district, state, and national competition. And so I asked him if he would come and play a piece where we could have the band just sort of accompany him on this. This is a, a very beautiful, well-written piece. And the title of it is The Beauty of Grace. And, um, We, we enjoy being able to make music. We're not the only people who make music, but we understand the true purpose of, of why God gives us music is to be able to ultimately to worship him and to, to bring glory to God. And so I hope in this song that we can do that. I've put together some slides um, about the life of Jesus and uh, just to kind of steer our thoughts toward that as you listen to this beautiful piece called Beauty of Grace.
All right, just wanted to pass some things along. You've seen a lot of performances from different groups, and uh, we did compete. Pretty much everybody that you saw today competed at state competition. Of course, we advanced through district competition and competed at state. Some were able to compete on campus here in individual performances. Um, many were able to compete in uh, recorded performances. And uh, we received some awards as an entire school body, elementary, middle school, and high school all combined. Now there are five categories that we compete in, academics, art, Bible, speech, and music, those five. And they add up all the points from all the levels. So the third graders that competed all the way up to the seniors that competed in the group categories and individuals. So every student who competed in some sort of category has a part in these awards right here. Our school had the highest total in three different categories. Those were academics, okay? So anybody who took an academic test for state, third grade through 12th grade, you had a part in this right here. If you took an academic test for state competition, you may not remember exactly which one you did, but you took two tests this year, would you stand up? Would you stand up right here? Third through 12th grade, if you competed at, at state competition in academics, let's give them a great hand. You may be seated. We were number one in that category for all the schools in the state. We also uh, were first place in music as well. If you were in a choir that competed for state, all the way down to individual, you know, trumpet solos and piano and stuff, would you stand? All of the third through fifth graders, you can be standing. All of the senior high choir, middle school choir, a ton of you. First place in music, and by the way, that was by a landslide. You can be seated. I mean, we, we blew the competition away in that area. And then probably the sweetest one, the most uh, important one to many of us here is the Bible competition as well. We took the Bible competition. If you uh, participated in Bible memory, Bible sword drill, uh, Bible teaching, Bible preaching, would you stand as well? Any of those categories at state competition, would you stand up? Thank you so much. We're excited for that. Wonderful. Wonderful. You may be seated. And the best thing, I guess best overall, is our overall award, the 2021 State Bible and Music Speech Art and Academic Com Competition, the Award of Excellent, Excellence, which is the highest award that they give for the total, total, total of everything went to Franklin Road Christian School. So thank you so much for your hard work. I guess you're giving yourselves a hand, right? Let's continue that. Let's continue to develop our skills. And I'm gonna say one more time, national competition. Senior High Handbell Choir, would you stand? And Josh Stanzak, would you stand? Our national champion back here. Let's give them a hand for placing second place and first place at national competition. That is an honor for us to be able to do that. All right, wonderful. One more thing that we want to do. Parents, thank you for coming. And uh, we're going to dismiss in just a minute, but the last thing we want to do is we want everyone to stand, and we are going to sing our alma mater, Minutemen, our emblem, colors black and gold, but our high school, uh, or our concert band is going to accompany us on that. You got a little introduction for us, Mr. Stanzak. Minutemen, our emblem, colors black and gold. Minutemen, our emblem.
Fill this room with the sound. Sing it together. singing students you may be seated let's uh let's dismiss in kind of a uh, more organized way i guess let's do this let's have the high school students ninth through 12th grade go ahead upstairs to get to your next class i believe you're going to fourth hour on behalf of all of our teachers and directors thank you for coming today